Okay, this is our beginning of doing everything with SAS. We'll start with computing prevalence or cumulative incidence, and also the population attributable risk. The first thing we're gonna need to do is create a data set. So I start with the word data, just make up a name since it's about stroke, I'll use the word stroke, an input statement. And I am going to have four things that I need here. The number of events that occurred in the exposed group. So in this case, it was people with hypertension who had strokes. So the number of events in the, the exposed group and then the total number of the exposed group. In this case, the total number of people with hypertension. Then the events in the non-exposed group and the total number of people in the non-exposed group. That is the people without hypertension. Semicolon, always end with a semicolon. Data lines, that's gonna tell SAS that now data is coming up. And this is a fairly small study. I had 18 people who had the event, a stroke, who had hypertension, out of a total of 252 people. There were 46 people who had a stroke in the non-exposed group, the people without hypertension, and there were 998 people total in that group. I put a semicolon on a line all by itself to let SAS know that I'm done with the data now. So I've created my data set. Now, here's how we do it. Proc STD rate. Data equals stroke, the data set name with my data. Ref data equals stroke. This is in case you, oops, I didn't mean to have a semicolon up there after the stroke. This ref data is if you happen to have a reference group, like you know that in the entire population that of the people in the census that there was, there was a certain proportion of people with strokes or something, but we don't have that. So we're just using our data set with our study data. Method equals, method equals is required. Indirect AF. Again, it could be direct if we had population values, but we don't. Stat equals, that's what the statistic I'm interested in, I want risk. Now my semicolon. Population event equals event exposed. This has to match the, var the variable name I used up here. Total equals count exposed, count E, and again, it has to match. Semicolon, I have now defined the population. Reference, my reference group. Event. Oops. Equals event not exposed. Total equals count not exposed. So now I've defined the reference group. So my reference group is the people who weren't exposed, the population I'm interested in, and the people who were exposed. Run. So that is how you compute the prevalence or cumulative incidence and the population attributable risk. Now all it is left for me to do is click my little running guy here. Observed events, crude risk for the study population, 7.14%. The risk for those who were not exposed, 4.61. Population attributable risks, 9.976. There you go. There's your risk for the exposed group, your risk for the unexposed group, your population attributable risk. And that's all there is to it.